The woman's eyes drifted down and then locked onto Cora's. A heartbeat too late, Cora thought to squeeze them shut again and play at being asleep. Sleep had been safe. Once caught, Cora could not look away from the black depths of the witch's eyes. She was in the witch of Barley Hill's house. No one, no one had ever been inside. The witch smiled, but it was disconnected, like her mouth and eyes had forgotten how to speak to each other. Hello, little bird. You fell out of your nest. I'm sorry, Cora whispered. Please don't hurt me. You don't need me for that, do you? The witch's grin widened to reveal teeth that looked impossibly old and yellowed. People are very good at hurting themselves. I never have to do a thing. She held up her fingers, which were dark with something. Blood, 